Hey guys, Jafar here. This video will cover the loop map, utilities, features and operation for the giant excavator pit. Let's have a look at the loot crate spawns with 21 possible primitive, basic or military crate spawns. The spawns for these crates include being within the excavator, under stairs, on top of pallets and boxes and the top of the building at the end of the excavator. Additionally, normal barrels and food crates can be found around the monument. This is the loot I have received after one run of just looting the crates. The loot you can get will widely vary depending on if the crates have been looted and the spawn chances of each item. For utilities, a recycler can be found within the main room on the excavator behind the engine and can be used while using the excavator to recycle the components you got off the scientists. An overview of all the utilities can be seen here. The excavator can be easily found by opening the map and locating the giant excavator pit, which is found in the desert biome. However, due to its massive size, you will most likely come across it at some point while roaming. The excavator pit contains a low level of radiation, allowing you to come just with a full set of burlap clothing. This fact could allow any level of player to loot around the monument, so keep an eye out for other players coming to steal your loot. The excavator contains scientists armed with shotguns, SMGs and assault rifles. The scientists require more shots to kill compared to players and can sometimes have a dead on aim, killing you quickly. It is highly recommended to come to the excavator prepared with medical supplies, guns and some friends. The scientists when killed can drop tools, medical supplies, keys, scrap, weapons, attachments, clothing and components. Due to the scientists, it makes it very unlikely you will find lower tier players running around inside, so be vigilant at all times since you will only be encountering higher tier players. I would suggest using at least road sign and a hoodie as armour to protect yourself against the scientists and other players. However, it is possible for low tier players to attack the monument with a compound bow, high velocity arrows and a lot of meds. Don't bother wasting your time with farming equipment since the monument does not contain any real nodes to mine. Fake ore nodes can be found on the hill being excavated but cannot be mined or do not yield any resources as they are just there for show. To operate the excavator you will first need to gather diesel fuel to power the machine. This fuel can be found from picking up diesel barrels which can be found at the junkyard, dome and the two oil rigs. Additionally, a barrel of diesel fuel can be purchased at the outpost for 300 low grade fuel. To fuel up the monument, take your diesel fuel to the main engine room and place it within the white silo next to the engine, which can only contain a maximum of 20 diesel fuel at a time. Now, run up to the stairs at the front of the engine and power it on using the control panel. Sirens will begin to ring and the machine will come alive. Inside the engine room, a sign labelled power frequency can be found with four numbers. These numbers can be used by other players who have an RF pager to alert them when the excavator monument has been powered on. So before attempting to operate the excavator, remember other players could be notified and on their way in an attempt to steal its resources. You will now need to run to the control room at the front of the excavator by going up the stairs behind the engine control panel and continuing up the stairs on the outside. Once you reach the center hole, jump on the conveyor belt and run down to the walkway going along the arm of the excavator. From here, follow it down to the control room and select which resource you would like to collect. This can be done by going up to the control panel and holding E to open up the resource wheel. You have the option of high quality metal, sulfur ore, stone and metal fragments. However, you can only collect one resource at a time, but you can always switch which resource that is. To obtain the resources, you want to make your way outside and reach the conveyor belt. From here, the resources will be equally distributed down two paths which you will continuously need to run back and forward from to secure your loot. At the end of these conveyor belts, a rock mound can be found which you can loot to collect your resources. Because of this, it makes it very hard to solo the excavator without players sneaking in and stealing your resources. Be careful of the falling debris from the conveyor belt which can inflict damage quickly killing players who stand directly under it. Also, remember to stay far away from the front of the excavator while it's active, since it will instantly kill any player it touches. Each barrel of diesel fuel will run the excavator for around 2 minutes. From one barrel of fuel, you have the potential to gather 40 high quality metal, 750 sulfur ore, 5000 stone, 
or 2,000 metal fragments. While from a fully fueled tank of 20 diesel fuel which will run for 40 minutes, you have the potential to gather 800 high quality metal, 15,000 sulfur ore, 100,000 stone or 40,000 metal fragments. The giant excavator pit is a fun, different and resourceful monument which will require players to sit and protect while the excavator is in operation. Make sure to bring adequate protection, friends and just enough diesel fuel to get what you need. Thanks guys for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.